Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's Taskmaster Tuesday. On Taskmaster, we complete all sorts of weird and wonky challenges, and we being Brother Monroe, Spartan Elite 43, and myself. This time around, the task was set by our very own Pascal Eiffel, who's the one who always writes up who did how many points. It's going to be a complete RNG fest. The only set things are that the enemy is one battleship from Japan in 1940. As for the rest, we're going to be spinning some wheels. The first spin is going to be what sort of ship am I going to be using? Let's have a look. Heavy cruiser. Okay, that's the first. Heavy cruiser. The next spin, how many ships am I going to get? Please don't make it one. Four. Not bad. Four heavy cruisers. Okay. Next up, what type of hull? I have the unlock all on, so I can use any hull from any nation. Let's see. We're going to get the experimental heavy cruiser. Okay, what did that look like again? This is the experimental heavy cruiser. It's going to make for a very interesting design. I believe it's originally French. And... Um, yeah, okay, so that's our cruiser hull. On to the next roll. What sort of systems are we going to be getting? Before I go for that spin though, first, what sort of displacement am I going to be getting? Let's go with a high roll, please. 19,500. I like that. So we get 19,500. That is a pretty good roll. 19,500. That's a big ass cruiser. Good lord. It still fits in the dock, sort of. It's just not going to be a pleasant day for the door. All right, next spin. This spin is for how fast the ship is going to be. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 18 knots. <laughs> oh, no. All right, fine. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not going to have any kind of speed advantage. Oh boy, this is not a great start. Let's hope that the main armament roll is going to be better. Triple eight inch. Meh, I can make that work. Secondary armament. Like that's going to be important against the battleship. Two inches. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, okay, so we're getting a triple eight inch barrels. And we're going to go for two inch secondaries. Now, there are two more rolls that I need to do, and that's the torpedoes. How many and what type? Yes. Just, <laughs> just yes. <laughs> like, does that mean I get a choice? I'm going to assume I get a choice. It's not mandated what type, so I'm just going to go with the type of torpedoes that I want. And generally, with the current version of the game, I'm not too big a fan of torpedoes. Torpedo size, 23 inch. At least we're going to go for big torps. Good. Right. I believe we can now finally start real construction on this 18 knot cruiser. Hmm. 18 knots, triple barrels, 8 inchers, torpedoes of 23 inch. How am I going to get the best performance out of these cruisers? Because running in to the enemy, like charging them down, not likely. So just going with the torpedo spammer, not that likely to work. Um, I'm thinking 18 inch, sorry, 8 inch triple barrels. Who cares about torpedo blisters? 8 inch barrels, maybe 8.9s, triples, long barrels. Just make it as heavily armored as I can. Because I'm dead slow, so speed's not going to save me. And just try and hit this guy very hard from afar. When it comes to long-range accuracy, we got 36 here, 30 here. This is a 1,500-ton tower. I'm not a fan. I think the Cruiser Pagoda Tower is going to be more useful, as it takes up less space. Long-range accuracy is a bit less. Not that bad. Secondary Tower. This gives me four long-range accuracy points. This gives me none. This takes up half the ship. This does not. Okay, 
Um, let's go with a, I don't know, the smallest funnel we can get. Even then, my engine efficiency already maxed out. Stereoscopic rangefinder. Eh, whatever. Um, yeah. Gonna have to go with the ship as ordered. That means guns, 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 guns. Lots and lots and lots of guns. If I cannot make the best use of these things, in the sense that I can bring the ship to go fast, I might as well use that mobility or that speed for something else. Sit. Oh, can I put a barbette there? Yes. That'd be great. Yes, thank you. Um, nah. Optimistic, but no. Okay. Medium superimposed barbette. There we go. Gotta make these things 8.9 and 20 longer. All right. Next to the funnel, I can put some of the torpedo launchers that were mandated. Let's go with twins and let's make these 23 inch. Let's make them oxygen run so they have a lot of range to the tune of 23 kilometers. That's good. I like that. All right, we're going to increase the reload as much as possible. I'm going to put the turret rotation on max. Um, hmm. Currently, I can hit out to 28.8. I think I can do better. And I'm thinking just HE. Because we're facing a battleship. So HE damage and HE fire chance is my friend. AP? Nah. Who cares about AP anyway? Muzzle velocity higher. HE shell pen higher. Putting my HE shell pen at 20,000 meters at 1.4 inch. Hmm... Firestarter? Reload. 13 seconds. Yeah, but I got nine barrels already and the ship's half done. So perhaps, perhaps I can make something bigger, something better. Hmm. If I go for super heavy shells, my shell pens can be even better. We're now looking at 1.7. Muzzle velocity here is not just or just not that great. Uh, this is fire chance reduction, plus seventy five percent fire chance plus one hundred fifty, but minus one hundred percent fuse time. So it just explodes on contact, causing endless fire to heavily modify battlefield. Be yeah, right. <laughs> That's not quite how that works. Okay, so we get a reload of fifteen seconds. Um. Any chance I can get? Yes. Picric acid. 27% shell damage. 25% fire chance. Keep in mind, I get four of these cruisers. So, with this level of firepower, I might be able to inflict a massive amount... A massive amount of fire on these guys. And fastest time wins. Oh, come on now. Sit. Don't be annoying. Sit. There. Push this back. Not that far back. My citadel is very big this way. That's a bit of a problem. Pull this turret back. Pull this turret back a bit. Uh, I still need to put on some secondaries. Secondary, two-inch guns. I don't care about these two-inch guns. They have a range of eight. That battleship is very likely not going to get into range of those guns, ever. Because I am so slow. Okay. How many shells do we carry? We carry 480 shells per turret. That's 15 guns... Firing every 15 seconds. Okay. 408 shells per turret. Should be sufficient. I don't think I need to up that anymore. Is triple base my best bet? It's more shell pen. This is more shell damage. I'm looking for anything that buffs HE. It 
sure there is. No, let's just stick with triple base. Speed on these HE shells, 1065 meters per second. Really quick. Good. The torpedoes are going to be running at 52 knots. Not great, not terrible. I can make this work. Okay. As for the rest... Maneuverability is not my friend. Um, I might as well make these fat cruisers. But that means my displacement is a bit high. Hold on, if I make them fat cruisers but with a low draft... This way, I'm presenting myself as a smaller target, which could sort of increase my survivability. You sit, you leave, you sit. Just by being a smaller target, I'm hoping to stay alive a little longer. Oh, this four weight offset is really not good. Is there any way I can get another triple 8.9 incher there? No, maybe? No. Crap. Oh! Yeah. Error. Shoot. <laughs> okay. No, it's a perfectly good error message. Shoot. Whatever. These are going to be broadside cruisers. <laughs> For absolutely no reason. Aft weight offset is a bit high. Mm. Still got displacement. Yes? No? Maybe? Yes? Yes. If it sits, it sits. Why are you not centerline? Be centerline. Good man. Front weight offset, 11%. So, we now have 21 of these guns on four cruisers. That's a lot of firepower. On a very small platform. Well... Increase the size a bit. A bit more. Come on. No. Back a bit. No. There. Perfect. Okay. What else do I need? Anti torpedo blister. Don't care. Uh, rudder. Don't care. Turning circles. Probably not going to be that bad. 304 meters, perfectly fine. The size of the citadel is the whole ship. So armoring this thing up is going to be a nightmare. And we're facing a battleship, so probably main deck armor is a bit more important. 8 inch plus 140%. If that thing gets any reasonable battleship gun, it's essentially not going to care. The good news is, I should be able to hit this guy right from the get-go with my 30-kilometer 8.9-inch guns. Yep. Okay. All right, give me 0 0.5. Give me a lot on the conning tower, please. And give me a lot on the guns, please. 15-inch there, top. Yeah, as much as possible there. 10. Give me 15 on the barbette. I still need to fix that weight offset. Uh, give me a hefty aft belt. No, not that hefty. Five. There we go. Five one. Pitch and roll just eleven percent. Pretty good. I could probably make that work. And when it comes to these two-inch guns, I really don't care. I am ordered to have them, so I have them, and that's about it. That's really just going to be about it. I could upgrade their barrel length, giving them a uh, nine point four kilometer range. Right. No, not likely to be useful. More torpedo launchers are too heavy. 164 tons per launcher. I don't have that much displacement left. So instead, let's put a bit more on inner deck armor and just make sure that shells that do pen get some more stopping force. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I'm three tons short of my limit. All right, Saratoga class, American heavy cruiser, or at least it flies the American flag. It's not really strictly any nation because this hull, I believe, is not American. All right, enough design, enough chit-chat. Let's go to Boidle. Okay, game, what do you have? Holy crap. Calm down. Everybody's opening up with a 100% chance to hit? What? Okay, what you got there? It's a 
funky looking ship. 16 inch dual barrels, 16.1s, a couple of 7 inch secondaries in the form of 2s. Be that one and that one. And then they got 12 7 inch guns on the side. So that's two there, and the other two there. In case you're wondering how I always figure this out, there's this information window on the left hand side of the screen. Okay. Um, their chance to hit me. Pretty good, I suspect. If they can see me. Yeah, they got a 2.5% hit chance. A 7% pen chance. Right. Maybe 7% chance to pen the Citadel. Everything else should be fair game. Alright, everybody else, turn starboard. I wonder what we can do with this first salvo. And I really am curious to see what sort of defense this ship has. Because the AI has been known to build all sorts of weird and wonderful warships. And those sometimes just have very little armor. Good lord, the amount of fire coming in from these ships is serious. Fire set, fire set, damage the main gun, five fire set, six, seven. Holy. Now, the objective, kill the battleship. The tiebreaker, kill the battleship quickly. Whoever gets this fastest time wins. Bloody hell, this is one toasty looking craft. <laughs> I got a really low draft. Oh, I hope I can identify this thing before it dies. Are we broadside yet? Yep. <laughs> Hold on. Oh boy. This poor battleship. Oh, look at this cruiser. I want to have these in my campaign. This is just not fair. I love it. Structural integrity is dropping. Pew, pew, pew. And this is only a part of my ships going broadside. Not even all of them. Holy shit, this thing is on fire. 400 damage done. I haven't taken a single hit. I destroyed a secondary. I caused some flooding? What do you mean HU spam is not a problem in this game? This is fine. No, it's not fine. It's a bit dirty. Torpedoes, 23 kilometer range, but the battleship's heading away. 25% ID. Two and a half thousand damage done. We're only five minutes in. The ship is already looking pretty crispy. You've already taken, what, 290 hits? Yes, more, actually. And big target, plus stable firing platform on my ship, plus um, long barrels, equals pretty damn good accuracy. Identification, 36%, 37. He's definitely trying to bite back. I wonder how much crew this thing has. Well, has left, rather. Now, oh, identification is really proceeding quite slowly. 89 fires? <laughs> yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, wow, we've taken a hit? Have we? Yeah, Saratoga took a small hit. Just imagine you're the battleship and you're facing this. Uh, you're role-playing as a submarine there, Saratoga. I know I reduced your draft. I don't think I reduced it quite that much. But hey, if we're a submarine, we're going to be more difficult to hit. Whatever advantage works. 53% ID. Look at these guys. What? Wait, what? It died? Extensive fire. <laughs> Oh man, this was dirty. Oh boy, fifty-one thousand tons battleship. <laughs> Dealt two hundred twenty-five damage. Well played. 
<laughs> Four and a half thousand damage. 146 fire. <laughs> oh man. Itchy spam is a problem. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, well, that was a quick Taskmaster run. Design phase, far more important than actual execution. Execution, this guy definitely faced. 35 knots. That thing was almost maximum speed. What the hell? Okay. Now it does say its armor ran anything from between 0 and 21.9 inch. 0 inch is probably the uh, 1.8 inch gun. That is unarmorable. You cannot put any armor on that. Anyway, that was quick. I'll put the exact time in the edit on screen. And let's see if Brother Monroe and Spartan Elite got a faster time. Their attempts are linked down below in the description, and I invite you to check them out. If you have any funky challenges, post them down below, and we might pick them up for next week. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon for more videos.